Hi, welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. This is Kabaljeet, working as Senior AI ML Specialist Solutions Architect at Amazon Web Services. In this episode, we'll talk about architecture pattern and best practices to build scalable machine learning systems on Kubernetes with Kubeflow on AWS. In one of my previous projects, we moved our machine learning system on AWS and leveraged EC2 instances for building and deploying machine learning models. I liked this setup as it had three basic components as in my local laptop. First, compute, that is CPUs and GPUs. Second, access to storage to access the training data sets and store training metadata. And third, access to software, which are the machine learning frameworks like TensorFlow, PyTorch, or other libraries that I have developed as part of my machine learning process. However, I see a couple of challenges with this setup. First, challenge with creating reproducible environments because each environment has different versions of the same machine learning libraries. Second, it is hard to achieve optimized utilization of server resources because machine learning does not need same underlying server resources like GPU for development as they will need in production. And third, if you are dealing with very complex machine learning models, you will need really powerful machines with latest GPUs and local setups are just not right to do those trainings. Let me show you the architecture that can not only help you address these challenges, but can also enable you to run your deep learning training jobs at scale on AWS. To ensure you can consistently run the machine learning custom environments, you will leverage containers to encapsulate all machine learning dependencies into a single container image. You will save the container image to Amazon Elastic Container Registry Service. You will leverage Amazon EC2 instances as the compute cluster where you will distribute and run the deep learning trainings at scale. You will use Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service as the container orchestration system to orchestrate machine learning training jobs on EC2 cluster. EKS is a managed container service that makes it easier to run Kubernetes on AWS without requiring to install Kubernetes worker nodes or control plane. Kubernetes is a great platform. However, it could be counterintuitive to some data scientists who have not used this platform before. So you will use an open source machine learning toolkit called Kubeflow that runs on top of Kubernetes and provide machine learning capabilities like model building, training, deployment, and many more. However, because Kubeflow control plane and data plane components share same Kubernetes worker node resources, it could get challenging to ensure optimized utilization of Kubernetes resources and high availability of Kubeflow components. Good news is you can now combine the open source Kubeflow with innovations from AWS using an AWS specific distribution of Kubeflow, also called Kubeflow on AWS which helps build highly reliable, secure, and scalable machine learning systems through integrations with AWS managed services like Amazon Cognito for user authentication, application load balancer for secure external traffic management, Amazon CloudWatch for persistent log management, AWS Certificate Manager to provision public and private SSL and TLS certificates, and many more. Let us see how the user experience on Kubeflow on AWS looks like. User sends an HTTP request to Route 53 with custom domain to log into Kubeflow dashboard. Route 53 resolves the domain name to the application load balancer, which will manage the traffic to Kubeflow dashboard. Load balancer is associated with ACM TLS certificate to support TLS authentication. The load balancer redirects the user to the Cognito authorization endpoint so that the Cognito can authenticate the user. Cognito is associated with the domain certificate as well. After user authentication, load balancer sends the user claims as JSON Web Token to Istio Ingress Gateway, which is part of Kubeflow Service Mesh. The Istio validates the incoming request and provides access to the Kubeflow dashboard. User can now create notebook server with added support for AWS deep learning containers to get access to optimized deep learning frameworks, Amazon Elastic File System, and Amazon FSx for Luster for scalable and serverless file storage solution for increased training performance. You can create machine learning workflows using Kubeflow pipeline with added integration with Amazon Relational Database Service for highly scalable pipeline metadata store and Amazon Simple Storage Service for an easy to use pipeline artifact store. Let's recap this session. Containers is one of the ways that can help provide portable and consistent machine learning environments. You get better resource utilization and scalability when you use a shared cluster like the one managed by 
Kubernetes and Kubeflow. Some of the anti-patterns, there could be management and operational overheads if you try to create your own Kubernetes cluster or use open source Kubeflow. Check out the links below for more details. Thank you for watching Back to Basics. See you next time.